Hi, hello, namaste to all the brilliant brains who are watching this video. Welcome back to Diksha Karnataka. I am Jyoti Sandeep, IIT faculty in mathematics and in today's video, I am discussing Abhyas KCT 2024 mock test 3 part 2. I hope everyone has written part 1 and everybody has seen the part 1 video already. There I discussed 30 questions and in today's video we are discussing 30 questions from question number 91 to 120. So let's begin. And one more thing, question paper is available on the WhatsApp channel. If you have one taken that question paper, link will be there in that description box. Go to that and take the question paper. So make sure that you are ready with the book and pen to solve all the questions. And note all the shortcuts what I am going to tell in today's video. Okay, ready? First question only is coming with a shortcut. This I have discussed in the previous video also. Previous video in uh, first 30 questions, one question was there where I had f of x to the power of g of x. In that 30th question only, I think last question in the previous video, without this trick also you can solve that, right? As usual method you can differentiate and you can get that. That was the question number 30. First question here. A question number 30 means actually it's a 90th question, right? In your mock test full length paper, it will be question number 90. Okay, without shortcut you can solve. But here, question number 91. If you are doing without shortcut, it will be too lengthy for you because sin and the power is a tan x. So better you use the shortcut. If you have not seen that, go back and check the video where I have explained the shortcut. Here I am just writing that for you. Whatever is given you write as it is. Then g of x divided by f of x. Then differentiation of the denominator f dash of x plus okay, log of f of x and the differentiation of the power that is g dash of x. Done. This is a shortcut. Once again, I am just recalling for you y dash. I am going to differentiate that as it is question you take the power divided by the base and the differentiation of the base plus log of the base and differentiation of the power. Okay. You can take it as g of x, f of x or you do as it is. It's one and the same. So, let's see the question. If you are putting this shortcut for this question first come sin x to the power of tan x isn't it then go on seeing the options we can rule out b and c easily then we have two options a or d i'll check that by taking the shortcut here tan x divided by sin x and differentiation of sin will be cos plus log of f of x sin x and the differentiation of tan x we all know that is secant square x. So, properly option A where I have all the terms given. Okay. So, remember make sure that you remember the trick. I have written the trick and one problem on that in front of you. Let us go to the next. As I have already told you join WhatsApp channel where you will get all the updates all the question paper given as well as the pdf of the solution link will be there in the description box make sure you see that and let us see the next question <coughs> 92nd question as it is question you have in your ncrt paper right many times you would have done this this is a 5 mark question basically here the same kind of question a rod of length 13 meters has one and p on the x axis okay so let's take on the x axis this is p and the other end on the y axis which is taken it as a q and this is a rod now what is the length of rod 13 meters okay if p moves along the x axis with a speed that is x so if i am taking it as a x dx by dt is given for you 12 meters per second then the speed of the other end q when it is 12 meters from the origin then this is 12 so what will be the 
speed of the other end that is if I keep it as a y they are asking you dy by dx dt okay this is the uh, data what is given in the question so we have extracted the data by seeing the triangle right angle triangle first thing I do is taking the Pythagoras theorem isn't it x square plus y square is equal to hypotenuse is 13th 13th square is 169 and y they have given I want x value x square do it quickly don't waste your time in solving all this so you can directly write x is equal to 5 means fine I have taken the triangle I have written the value and shown here okay now go back to this equation 1 x value to we got now differentiate the equation 1 differentiate mark 2x dx by dx dy if you differentiate this no you should know what you will get and you should know how to write it directly I will show you you can write it directly as dy by dt is equal to minus x by y dx by dt actually on differentiation and cancelling you will get this so we will just differentiate and see dy by dx dt that is equal to 0 okay send this to the other side 2 will get cancel and y will be in the denominator finally you get this now substitute the data do we know x yes we know x do we know y yes we know y do we know dx by dt that is also there so what is the answer minus 5 it is there in option c decreasing definitely so negative is there so phi is the unit what you get here okay let's go to the next question 93rd question integration in this mock test many integration problems we have solved in the part one only six around six to seven integration problems and here also few more we have okay so integral of x minus 1 into e power minus 1 is there and this is definite integral so I'll use a by part okay x minus 1 in d to the power of minus x dx exponential is the easiest function so remember like that it is islet rule and islet rule follows the complicity to easiest one this is a complicated one i the complex number so i inverse is a complex function to solve then little complex is logarithm then easy algebraic very easy trigonometric then easiest one will be your exponential so complex to easy way they have arranged it like that now that's why this is the first function this is a second function x minus 1 as it is integration of this will give you minus e to the power of minus x minus minus e to the power of minus 6 and differentiation of that into dx okay I will not uh, multiply this let it be as it is minus of minus plus and again integrating the same exponential again we will get this then put the limits what they have given 0 to 1 before I substitute I will take common that makes the uh, things easy x minus 1 plus 1 from 0 to 1 okay cancel cancel now you substitute the value and see what you get minus e to the power of minus 1 and minus of x is there here so 0 this is what I am going to get minus 1 by e in minimum steps you have to do this and reach the answer that is the one very important thing you should know in CET I am not doing elaborated steps I am cutting short whenever necessary in few problems I can't cut short the steps there I have to write okay for example this only this is not an odd function to write it directly as a 0 be very careful this is not odd integration from minus pi to pi cos square x divided by 1 plus a to the power of x dx okay if this is taken as a f of x if the question is taken as a f of x let's try taking f of minus x okay let's see 
cos square of minus x is cos x only and 1 plus a to the power of minus 6 dx from minus pi to pi. Anything is changing? Yes, it is changing. I is equal to cos square x. This is actually 1 divided by a power x. Take LCM and send it to the numerator. I will get a power x here next to cos square divided by a power x plus 1. Are you all getting this? So, equation 1 is here. Now, take it as equation 2 and add it 1 plus 2. So, that will give you i plus i 2i and same limits pi and minus pi to pi cos square and here a power x cos square. So, I will take 1 plus a power x because cos square is common. See, these simplifications you can skip it off and write. So, 1 plus a power x dx. Okay. Finally, we got cos square x. Cos square x is actually even. This is even function, isn't it? Now, because it is even function and property says that whenever you have even function, you can write it as 2 times of integral of 0 to pi then cos square. Okay. To integrate cos square, I am taking the half uh, angle, multiple angle 1 by 2, 1 plus cos 2x. Isn't it? In multiple angle, we have cos 2x is equal to 2 cos square x minus 1. From that only, we have taken this and integrate. So, this 2 will get cancelled with this 2 or you can cancel this anyway. 1, 2 to is there in a solution. Should I check the solution? Yes, we have pi, pi by 2, 2 pi. So, pi we are getting in the answer. Now, integrate. 1 integration of 1 will be x. Cos 2x integration will be again 1 by 2 sin 2x. Put the limits 0 to pi. Okay. Now, let us see what you get. 1 by 2 I have kept it outside. Difference uh, integration of this again I have got a 1 by 2. But on putting pi I have pi by 2 for this. On putting 0 I have 0. But, but for the second term, if you put pi also it is becoming 0, if you put 0 also it is becoming 0. So, no need to write that at all. So, i is equal to pi by 2 is our answer. Option C, pi by 2 you have got. Okay. So, what is important in this to note? Equation 1 and equation 2 we are adding and cancelling that 2. One more important step in this is otherwise you will get stuck here only. To change that to multiple angle cos square you cannot integrate without that. So, you have to bring it to 1 plus cos 2x by 2 then only you can do. Okay, fine. Okay. 95th once again integration. Integration of dx divided by x into 1 plus x power 4. Not to worry we have a tricks for this. If the question is in the form of dx divided by x into 1 plus x to the power of n. Okay. The answer is 1 by n log of x to the power of n divided by 1 plus x to the power of n. This is the answer. If you have limits after this answer, after writing that answer, you have to put the limits. Okay. So, first I will write the answer for this. Then I have power as a 4. So, 1 by 4 log of x to the power of 4. Later, I will put the limits 1 plus x to the power of 4. Put the limits 1 to 2. On putting 2 log 16 divided by 16 plus 1 17 minus log of on putting 1, I have 1 divided by 2. 
log m minus log n bring it to 1 by 4 we have in a three options okay let us see 17 also we have in all the three options so let us see 1 by 4 into log of 16 by 17 log m minus log n can be written as log m by n so 16 by 17 divided by 1 by 2 so this 2 will go and get multiplied with a 16 so I have option D how many of you have written option D see there is a close call here between A and D if you mind calculate if you are not writing the steps and go wrong you would have chosen this so this 2 will go and multiplied with the 16 so 32 will be numerator 17 is in the denominator okay let us see the next question 96th one if I observe first of all you have minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 that is one hint which is loudly telling you that this might be the odd function the same thing happened in previous also but the function what they gave was not odd here this is odd number this is odd numbers powers this is odd and you have constant okay when all the powers are odd it shows that f of x will be minus f of x isn't it then it becomes odd function whenever I have odd function should I do this no I will directly go with the 0 whenever I have odd function and minus any value to plus minus a to a generally like this okay if that is a odd answer will be 0 that we have learnt in properties only remember that and do it directly so let us see the next question lot of integration problems we are doing in this video also so revise everything make use of that okay integral of sin power 6x divided by cos power 8x that means 2 extra they have given why did they give separate it why did they give 8 here okay I will write it as 1 by cos square because that is extra and let us see this becomes 10 1 by cos square is secant square dx is not it now what to do on taking this as a t I will get this much as a dt correct and this will reduce to it is a indefinite so easily I can take the substitution tan x I have taken it as a t I am not writing it just calculate tan x as a t so t to the power of 6 and this becomes dt what should be my answer 7 where is that with a positive option b tan to the power of 7x divided by 7x rest you can rule out easy okay let us see the 98th one this is slightly tricky because the terms are like that if you know how to write it directly it becomes very simple for you okay so let us take the question you know that 1 plus cos 2x first let us see the denominator 1 plus cos 2x can be written as 2 cos square x if you do not know just recall it recall all the trigonometric formulae okay 1 plus cos 2x can be written as 2 cos square x with a numerator as it is this step you can avoid keep it up and write the next step 1 by 2 is a constant 1 by cos square is a secant square is not it divide the denominator for both so then 1 cos will get cancelled I have tan here very simple so if you are very thorough in a trigonometry you will not write this step by seeing this you can make out so one will be secant square other one, other one will be tan so I am going to get this is f of x this becomes f dash of x is not it then I have e power x I will write the answer directly I will write e to the power of x and tan x e power x tan x plus c will be the answer okay so tan x if you differentiate you are going to get 
secant square 1 by 2 will be outside constant as it is. So, where is our 1 by 2? Option B. 1 by 2 e power x tan x is the answer for this. We have e power x tan x here also. This is the you rule out. Okay. So, we have option B. Let us see the next question. C. Integral of dx divided by x plus 3 x minus 3 which we can write it as this is a direct question, right? Should I do anything for this? Not necessary. x square minus 9 is there. How do we do this? What is the formula? Whenever I have 1 divided by x square minus a square, I will take it as 1 by 2a log of x minus 3 by x plus 3 with the mod. Right? Now just compare. What is a? 3. 2 times a? 6. Which and all has a 6? This though you rule out, this won't be the answer. And see the denominator here, that won't be the answer. So, we have 6 only in option D and terms are properly written. So, option D is a answer. This also you should remember and no need to write that. Without writing, you can just stick this question. Okay. Let us move on. 100th question. This is also a result. Because see, this is a general function what they have given. Y is equal to A times cos alpha x plus B times sin alpha x. In a, my video of a strategy, I have told you there are many results you have to remember. That is a one of the trick. Results, formulae and shortcuts. This will help you to get your answer very fast. Okay. If I remember that result, I will take few seconds to take the answer. How? Because see y dash is giving you a times alpha sin alpha x right with a negative yes negative and b cos alpha x here one alpha will get this is what I get. Once again I am differentiating this right. So, alpha is a common outside both will be negative sign differentiation will be cos and this also will be minus sign. So, again I will get a negative outside. So, a is as it is a also I can write out once again minus alpha as it is for this alpha one alpha I have kept outside ok sign becomes cos cos alpha x and alpha I have kept outside b minus sin alpha x into alpha. So, alpha again I can take common, I will take minus alpha only common. Are you following? Minus alpha and this alpha becomes minus alpha square. What is left? I am left with a b a cos alpha cos alpha x and b sin alpha x which is there in the question itself. So, I can bring it as a y. So, remember this no, it is very simple. Double differentiation will be option b minus alpha square into y. Okay, will you remember? That is why I told you last class in the strategy video. If you have not seen that, go back and watch. You need to make a summary sheet where you can add up all such results also. So, when you are very near to exam or when you are going to ex write the exam in the nth minute also, you can revise it. Just turn the pages, the, put it here and go. That will help you. Okay, I have seen many students. Uh, your changes will be there if you make a summary sheet. Okay, do that. 101. General solution of dy by dx is equal to which chapter is this? Differential equation, isn't it? They are asking you to solve this, to write the solution of that. So, de differential equation. So, I can, sh shall I separate the variables? Let us try. 2x e to the power of x square and e to the power of minus y. e power minus y I can bring it as 1 by e power y and cross multiply. Yes, I can separate the variables. So, this question falls under variable separable method. 2x e to the power of x square 
and dx then what I will do integrate integrating both the sides e to the power of y that is equal to integration of this because this is will be taken as a x square will be taken as a t 2x dx will go as a dt so e power t different integration will be e power t only right so this is your answer e to the power of y here we have e power y is equal to e to the power of x square plus c ma'am can i take the constant also as a base e instead of writing c can i write it as e yes you can because that is one constant you are writing that specifically that is e e value is some uh, 2.7 something so if you write c that is in general what we are writing okay let's take up the next question 102 how many of you have done this very simple question a die is thrown die is thrown and a card is selected at random from 52 playing cards and the probability of getting an even number out of that die and probability of getting the spade card out of that 52 cards that's all we have to do out of uh, six a die is thrown means six outcomes so we have even numbers two four and six so three even numbers how many spade cards 13 cards that's all so divided by total so three events divided by six into work is not done so i have to multiply if work is done then i will go on adding if i have other option okay not these option option for selecting i'll show that in the questions if it comes 13 cards among 52 simple so now simplify you have 1 by 8 okay so let's take up the next question 103 on which topic sets very simple i is missing in a college of 30 students fail in in a college comma 30 students college uh, 100 should be there here total in a college of 100 students 30 students fail in physics okay mm, complete the question i think in question paper it is given properly in a college of 100 students 30 students fail in physics 25 fail in mathematics 10 fail in both one student is chosen at random probability that she fails in physics if she failed in maths also okay both are important subject probability of a that is physics you can keep it as a p m anything for a physics and mathematics i am keeping it as a a only let's not get confused p of b second event is mathematics so 25 by 100 both physics and math that is 10 by 100 out of the total isn't it simplify 1 by 4 here 1 by 10 okay this though we got now what they are asking you capture that probability that she fails in physics given that she has failed in math also okay understood this shouldn't happen with any student i wish probability that the student fails in physics so i'm taking it as a a provided she fails in mathematics also so given condition there is a conditional probability according to formula p of a intersection b divided by p of b 1 by 10 by 1 by 4 4 by 10 2 by 5 is the answer here okay check your answers how much you have written where did you go wrong or if it is right high five very good question so let's move on to the next question 104th a and b are two students their chances of solving the problem correctly are 1 by 3 and 1 by 4 respectively okay take it as a event a what is event a both the student a and b 
सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम करेक्टली ओके दिस इज बेस थेरम सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू टेक द इवेंट्स एंड टेक द प्रोबेबिलिटीज सो पी ऑफ ई वन एल राइट both are doing it correctly is 1 by 3 and 1 by 4 they have given in the question so it will be 1 by 12 fine let's continue if the probability of their making a common error is 1 by 20 okay let's keep that and they obtain the same answer okay then the probability of their answer to be correct is what this is a question so first probability we have taken let's take the second probability What is the second uh, event? Sorry, not probability. Second event, then probability. Both A and B solved the problem correct correctly. Then I will take both A and B are incorrect. Solved the problem incorrectly. Incorrectly. Okay. Now, what is the probability of this? p of e2 if i am taking the person a going wrong going right is 1 by 3 going wrong will be 1 minus 1 by 3 okay the person b going right is 1 by 4 the person b going wrong will be yes you are thinking is right 1 minus 1 by 4 2 by 3 here we have 3 by 4 so i have 1 by 2 okay this we got now what do we need what is the main event both are solving that both are solving that is important solving the problem that is taken as a third event okay now under conditions under particular condition yes they are solving but if they are correct probability of e given that both are right what is the probability one only no for one question there is only one answer so it has to be 100% so it is one get both are solving and both are going wrong what is the probability can you think both are solving and both are going wrong they have only given or to think 1 by 20 okay see they have given that they are making the common error that is 1 by 20 okay now we have whole and sole data now just putting in the formula what they are asking now probability of the see that probability of their answer to be correct okay so it has to be correct so e1 and here sorry e1 here one second it has to be correct and both are solving it given that both are solving it this is what they are asking you so the and they obtain the same answer then the probability of their answer to be correct is what so when they are solving both of them are solving correctly given that both are solving that okay what is the formula p of e1 p of e when e1 is given here also p of e1 when p of e1 e1 is given plus p of e2 p of e when e2 is given okay substitute all the values what we have p of e1 i have got 1 by 12 and this is 1 that is 100% right wala then 1 by 12 and into 1 plus what is p of e2 e2 is 1 by 2 and this they have given as a 1 by 20 can you do the rest simplify further take lcm solve it and option d should be your answer okay just comment in the comment section if you are getting the option d i will also know how many of you have solved it and got a 10 by 13 will you do that for me i want to see all of you solving this and putting in the comments that yes ma'am we have got the option d will you do that for me yes let's move ahead 
హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ ఫిఫ్త్ క్వశ్చన్ ఆఫ్టర్ డూయింగ్ దాట్ లెంది క్వశ్చన్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఈజీ వాళ్ళ విచ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఈజ్ కరెక్ట్ విచ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ రైట్ సో లెట్ సి వన్ బై వన్ ఇంటర్సెక్షన్ ఓన్లీ వీఆర్ టాకింగ్ రైట్ వెన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ సమ్ ఎలిమెంట్ వన్ టూ త్రీ వెన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ నల్ సెట్ ఇఫ్ ఐ ట్రై టు టేక్ కామన్ వాట్ షుడ్ బి ద సెట్ బికాస్ ఇంటర్సెక్షన్ మీన్స్ కామన్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ వి టేక్ సో నథింగ్ ఈస్ దేర్ మీన్స్ ఆబ్వియస్లీ నల్ సెట్ హ్యాస్ టు బి దేర్ నాట్ ఏ నాట్ యూ నాట్ ఏ డాష్ రైట్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ టు బి ద నల్ సెట్ ఓన్లీ బికాస్ ద కామన్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ సో నథింగ్ ఈస్ కామన్ సో నల్ సెట్ వీ హ్యావ్ ఓకే లెట్ సీ ద నెక్స్ట్ వన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ సిక్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇన్ మ్యాట్రసెస్ సో గుడ్ క్వశ్చన్ హండ్రెడ్ అండ్ సిక్స్త్ వన్ P is equal to one matrix they have given and that matrix what they have given is the adjoint of a three cross three matrix A. Okay, so I can write that this is the adjoint of A which is of three into three matrix. Determinant of A is four. Then what will be alpha value? Okay, first we will take the determinant P. So what will be determinant P? this will be 0 minus alpha into 4 minus 6 plus 3 into 4 minus 6 this will be determinant p so i have minus of minus plus 2 alpha and we have 2 minus 6 so this is 2 alpha minus 6 this is determinant p okay now let's take determinant p from this if p is equal to adjoint a then determinant p is equal to adjoint a's determinant determinant of adjoint a and by formula i know that a determinant of adjoint a is equal to determinant a whole to the power of 3 minus 1 because it is a order 3 matrix isn't it so that becomes a square so that is our determinant p so can i bring that here this is determinant a square determinant a whole square will be 4 square 16 16 is equal to 2 alpha minus 6 okay see which option you are getting 2 alpha is equal to 22 and alpha is 11 that's why i told this interesting so directly you can't tell because you have to relate both the conditions what they have given and it's, it's simple to solve also then understood okay 107th if the sum of series i hope if you are doing the mock test paper you would have seen this question before isn't it how many of you have seen just check if the sum of series summation n is equal to 0 to uh, infinity r power n is equal to s yes. this is one condition okay then mo mo mod of s r that is a mod r not a determinant mod r is less than 1 then the sum of the series summation of this is what that is a question i think something is wrong here this has to be square check your question paper okay it has to be square otherwise both are same so if both are same answer will be definitely yes and option is also not there it has to be r square okay one by one we'll take this is what they have given right so now go on giving the values for n if n is 0 we are getting 1 if n is 1 we are getting r r square and so on so on so on till infinity that is equal to yes in which series it is geometric progression right geometric progression s infinity formula is s infinity is equal to a divided by 1 minus r put this formula and you get 1 divided by 1 minus r because ratio is r is equal to s reciprocal 1 minus r is equal to 1 by s and r is equal to 1 minus 1 by s so i have s minus 1 divided by s okay keep that r value because options all the options are in terms of s only we need this and go with the second sequence what they have given here 
the series says on putting 0 I think it is 2n ok on putting 0 I get 1 because I remember getting r square r power 4 r power 8 like that r square r power 4 and so on so on till infinity just check that question once that is equal to ok now I have to write the s infinity formula again 1 divided by 1 minus r square now let us find out what is the value of this 1 minus r we have here square of that you have to take then so s, s square will go to the numerator do we have a square in all no option c is gone and option a also you can rule out because i have the denominator as well it has to be one of this b or d so let's see that s square minus s square minus 1 plus 2s ok 2s minus 1 is the answer for this so just check the question once it has to be 2n in the power otherwise you won't get it 108th question the sum of coefficients in the expansion of in the binomial theorem we have many shortcuts hope all of you know the shortcuts and one of the shortcut is here in this question we are using now sum of the coefficient they are asking and three terms are given like this just put x is equal to 1 and get your answer ok putting x is equal to 1 in this 1 plus 1 minus 3 to the power whatever here I get 2 minus 3 minus 1 and power is e1 minus 1 whole power e1 will be plus 1 option c if it is odd number minus 1 if it is even number plus 1 that is all easy peasy let us go to the next question see if the system of equation 3 equation has given and they have a non zero solution determinant question is not it when we will get non zero solution when do we get solution when determinant of this is not equal to 0 correct determinant is not equal to no need to put this also yeah determinant is not equal to 0 I have to do that only here and get the k value simple so let us take the values 1 k minus 1 3 minus k and minus 1 1 minus 3 and 1 this is equal to 0 ok not not equal actually yeah we are getting it as a 0 so then what is the k value determinant is 0 minus k minus 3 minus k times 3 plus 1 minus 1 minus 9 plus k equal to 0 ok from this I will come to know what is the k value minus k minus 3 minus 3 k and minus k here 4 no 4 directly I will write 3 plus 1 4 4 k and here I have plus 9 and minus k equate it to 0 then here minus 6 k plus 6 is equal to 0 6 k is equal to 6 and k is 1 all of you got I think we have done this question before also k has to be 1 got it so take the determinant value take the uh, coefficients I mean the constants what you have put that in one the matrix equate it to 0 get your answer there ok non zero solution let us move ahead 110 the function f of x is equal to x minus cot x see when they whenever they ask this increasing decreasing function directly do not go with the derivative first see the graph if is it possible to go with a graph then go with a graph here two functions are there right f dash of x 
in such case you need you can differentiate and get the answer if i am differentiating this then 1 plus cos so cot becomes cosecant square okay cot x differentiation will be cosecant square now see do i get positive or negative will the derivative be positive or negative of course 1 plus square is there so square of any function will be positive and plus 1 so function completely is positive when the function is positive f of x is definitely increasing so always increasing okay simple one let's see the next question 111th <clears throat> the value of this cos 15 degree cos 7 and half degree sin 7 and half degree so this is giving you one hint half of this angle is sitting here so what to do that is a hint right so cos 15 as it is so it is in the form of cos if you are taking cos 2 theta here here it is given theta okay if you make this theta then this becomes theta by 2 so what i am doing here is multiplied by 2 for this divided by 2 for this now it becomes 2 times sin theta cos theta 2 times sin theta cos theta will be sin 2 theta so double the angle again i will get 15 degree right 1 2 is left here which we have divided that will be there should i do that same step again yes if you are thinking that very good so i do the same step again 2 times of sin theta cos theta okay we all know that in multiple angle 2 times of sin theta cos theta will be sin 2 theta that becomes 30 and 2 2 is multiplied here so 1 by 4 and sin 30 will be 1 by 2 so we have answer here 1 by 8 okay got to know how many of you have done this just check your answers okay 112th one the value of sin 50 degree minus sin 70 degree plus sin 10 degree is equal to what in which uh, topic it is trigonometry i know in which subtopic it is transformation isn't it transformation formula the most confusing formula in trigonometry is the transformation for many students now in such case what i will do first and the last i will take because that is giving you the standard angle you can choose that as a one uh, as a one step okay first step i have, my instinct is telling to take these two okay so now you should know what is sin c plus sin d what is sin c plus sin d two times of sin of sum of the angle by two and cos of sum of uh, difference of the angle by two right so two times of leave that 70 wala first and last we are taking so two times of sin of sum the angle 60 60 by 2 is 30 okay then take the cos subtract the angle 40 40 by 2 will be 20 i have written the formula for you i am just adding the angles divided by 2 subtract the angles divided by 2 the between one the middle one i have not touched only so i will write as it is okay now this will be 1 by 2 we will get cancelled with this 2 left is only this much can you see the answer now i don't know what is sin 70 i don't know what is cos 20 but still i know allied angles 90 minus 20 will be sin 70 and 90 makes this sign as a cos so that will be cos 20 cos 20 minus cos 20 so after doing all this i came to know that answer is zero okay let's question projection of this vector on the other vector projection is the simplest problem what we can expect in vectors and in the CET part you see the second part 
on what vector they have given. Okay, the second vector and take the magnitude of that. Many times this will be sufficient for you. So, 10 plus 4, 14. See here, in denominator where is root 14? That will be the answer. In denominator because it is a dot b divided by magnitude of b, right? This is a formula. So, magnitude of b should be there in the denominator. Root 14 should be there in the denominator. That is happening only in c. Okay, that's all. 114th, if the direction cosines of two lines are such that, see how they have given it. Okay, then the angle between them is what? Okay, let's solve this. One condition is given that L, M and N, the direction cosines, sum of that will be 0. That means cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma, they have added and it is 0 and square of that. So, if that is 0 from this I can take that n is equal to minus l minus m, right? Substitute that in the second line. So, that becomes minus l minus m whole square equal to 0, isn't it? So, l square plus m square minus l square minus m square minus 2LM equal to 0, minus 2 can't be equal to 0, either L has to be equal to 0 or M has to be equal to 0, okay. If L is 0, if L is 0 in this, then M has to be minus n from this. If L is 0, then M will be minus n, okay. And if m is 0 in this, then n l will be minus n, okay. In this condition, what will be cos theta? Because as we know, it is l1, l2, m1, m2, n1, n2 divided by root of this, root of this, l1 square, m1 square, n1 square divided by L2 square, M2 square and N2 square. So, if I am taking like that in this, okay. So, what do I get? What will I get? Multiplying that I will get 0 plus 0 plus 1 divided by under root of 2 are zeros. See here, if 1 is 0, other 1 will be 1 or minus 1, isn't it? So, 0, 1 and 1. 0, 1 and 1 because minus 1 whole square is also giving you 1 only. So, that becomes 1 divided by root 2 root 2 will be 2. This is our cos theta. If cos theta is 1 by 2, theta has to be pi by 3. Okay. Have you got pi by 3? Check your answers and if not, check the solution properly. Got it? So, let us move ahead, 115th question, take the, read the question, take the data properly, difference between two number is 48, take two numbers, difference will be 48, okay, and difference between their arithmetic mean and their geometric mean is 18. So, I have taken two numbers A and B, the, their arithmetic mean will be a plus b by 2. Their geometric mean will be root of a b. Now, difference of this is given it as a how much? 18. Okay. So, take that. a plus b by 2 minus root a b is taken as a 18. On solving both, we should write what is the greatest number among both. I have to find A, I have to find B, then we have to check whether, uh, which one is greater among those two, okay? Okay, let us see the options also. So, this equation one can be written as root A whole square, root B whole square equal to 48. Possible? Yes, ma'am, it is possible. Okay, now I will take off this and write it down. I need space, 
सो आई राइट इट हियर ए प्लस बी बाय टू ओके एंड माइनस रूट ए बी लेट दिस सेकेंड इक्वेशन बी सिटिंग देर ओनली लेट्स वर्क आउट दिस फर्स्ट ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी एट आई टेक ए प्लस बी एंड ए माइनस बी एज अ फोर्टी एट ओके डो ए नो रूट ए प्लस रूट बी नो डो ए नो रूट ए माइनस रूट बी नो ओके लेट दिस वेट आई टेक दिस वन फ्रॉम हियर आई कैन ब्रिंग द वैल्यू जस्ट यू नीड टू सिंप्लीफाई दिस a plus b by 2 minus root ab is equal to 18 is there on solving this i can take it in the form of root a minus root b whole square can you see that a square plus b square minus 2ab formally there right i can bring that as a a minus b whole square form so it will be root a minus root b whole square which is equal to 36 can i write can i write it as root a minus root b as 6 yes ma'am we can write isn't it so bring this value here okay put this value here that is when i'll get to know the first factor's value so that will be 8 right so root a plus root b is 8 so root a minus root b is 6 solve both on solving both you must get the values for both root a i am getting it as for 14 by 2 that is 7 so root a is coming as a 7 a will be 49 this is one answer for this one okay if that is 49 let's see root b will be equal to 6 minus root a root a no root a minus 6 so root a will be 7 root 7 minus 6 isn't it hmm. okay so that will give you root a minus if i take that and substitute in any one equation this or you have root a plus root b is equal to so root b will be equal to 1 right so b value is 1 a value is 49 so which one is greater 49 is greater and greater value is sitting in the option d so that is your answer okay that is your answer so while while writing you remember that so i am taking two equations from the data one is the difference of that this equation and next one is the other equation so if you substitute one thing i'll do here this is confusing for us let's not take it in this substitute a value here okay so to get b value substitute a value here then i will get b is equal to a minus 48 49 minus 48 that is giving you 1 okay that will give you 1 when b is 1 and a is 49 then better we see the greatest number among those two okay so let's see the next one in the differentiation they have given this to find the maximum value on the interval 0 comma 1 within the given parameter the function takes the maximum value at what point is the question can i go with a graph here no because the powers are more and product it is so it will be complicated take the function as it is differentiate that f of x is equal to x to the power of 25 and 1 minus x whole to the power of 75 we'll differentiate it we'll equate it to 0 and see what will be the maximum value okay f dash of x take first function as it is differentiation of the second one 75 into 1 minus x to the power of 74 and minus 1 okay plus second function as it is differentiation of the first one done now what is the common what will be the common 
25 I can bring to the x to the power of 24 and 1 minus x whole to the power of 74 this is common okay keeping that common what do I get I have minus 3 here so rest of the numbers are there 1 x is there isn't it yeah x is there and here what do I have I have taken off this taken off this and one term is remaining that is plus 1 minus x is there right so now write the term as it is here I have 1 minus 4 x on putting this to 0 on equating f dash to 0 25 cannot be equal to 0 and none of this will be equal to 0 only this function I can take it to 0 1 minus 4 x is 0 1 is equal to 4 x and x value will be 1 by 4 this is a critical point actually but whatever you are getting will be the maximum value because that is falling under this when it falls under that normally that will be the maximum value if you have a doubt take double differentiation okay double differentiation of this should be negative so take double differentiation and check maximum no it will be negative done not necessary but if you want to write it precisely then you take the def double differentiation otherwise you can go with the 1 by 4 if it is there in the option let us see the next one if the radius of the circle is increasing at the uniform rate of 2 centimeter per second that is rate measure problem the area of increasing of area of circle there is an increase in the area of a circle basically at the instant when the radius is 20 centimeter in Kotidare radius of the circle that is dr by dt is increasing okay 2 centimeter per second then area of a circle also increase in the area we have to find out of the circle when the radius is 20 a is equal to pi r square this is the area of the circle rate of change of area with respect to time I have to find out differentiate both the sides and put the value 2 into pi into 20 into 2 so that will give you 80 okay option C this every one would have done very simple one basic NCRT problem so I hope everyone does this next question 118th question if 2 times of tan inverse of cos x is equal to tan inverse of 2 times of cosecant x then what is the value of x okay if it is tan inverse both the side I can eliminate that but here 2 is sitting if 2 is sitting like this I cannot eliminate so what will I do I will take the formula for LHS that is 2 tan inverse x we can write it as tan inverse of 2x divided by 1 minus x square isn't it so bring that here I will get it as tan inverse of 2 cos x divided by 1 minus cos square x in the place of x we have to put cos x that is equal to this is equal to same thing whatever is there in the question ok now first eliminate tan square both the side we have 2 times cos x divided by 1 minus cos square x that is equal to 2 times cosecant x which I can take it as 1 by sin x ok simplify 2 is gone this is sin sorry sin square side I have 1 by sin crossing 1 sin and cross multiplying I have I can bring it as tan x is equal to 1 finally ok if tan x is 1 what will be the value of x yes 45 where is 45 option b pi by 4 is our answer ok you can bring it to cot also do not get confused ma'am why ma'am only tan 
yes you can bring it to cot or as it is for which angle both cos and sin are equal whenever you get this condition one of the angle is 45 degree remember you don't have to write tan you don't have to write cot as it is or only value 45 both sin and cos are equal isn't it let's see the next question inverse trigonometry second question number of real solutions of such a big terms they have given okay but one hint is that they have given 90 degree that side so if i bring this to cos cos inverse plus sine of some y equal to pi by 2 isn't it i am not telling that these two will be same no it won't be so if this is x the other one is y i can't directly tell that these two are equal no this can be different so i am doing the other way i am sending this to the other side then writing it as cos inverse y now i can eliminate cos inverse both the side so then i can equate this okay on equating we will see how many solutions we are getting in this okay shall we do that for doing that i need triangle this is opposite by adjacent so adjacent is one opposite is under root we have x square plus x okay let's find out hypotenuse first so hypotenuse will be square of this and square of this so that is hypotenuse square actually so here i can write under root x square plus x plus 1 okay if i am bringing that to cos cos inverse now i am taking off this and bringing the cos inverse there cos inverse tells that adjacent by hypotenuse so 1 divided by under root x square plus x plus 1 and as i told i am sending this to the other side i can write cos inverse of root of x square plus x plus 1 okay now cos inverse is gone both the sides so 1 is equal to product of this because they are same root is gone x square plus x plus 1 cancel off x square plus x is equal to 0 x into x plus 1 equal to 0 and x is equal to 0 or x is equal to minus 1 so we have two real solution in this option c okay got to know the method the pattern is important here so number of real solution they have asked if it is possible to bring it as a same or trigonometry, inverse trigonometry function do that then eliminate work on the terms you will get the answer okay last question the value of cos inverse of minus 1 by 2 ncrt first exercise problem this is cos inverse of minus pi by 1 by 2 pi minus cos inverse of 1 by 2 not all the questions will be lengthy like previous sum was a lengthy so it was a high level this is a just ncrt so that will maintain the timing if for one question you are spending putting more time here i don't have to put any time okay directly i can write 2 pi by 3 pi minus cos inverse 1 by 2 that is pi by 3 and answer will be option b so this completes all how many 30 questions i hope everyone has understood all 30 questions so if you have understood completely i need likes i am not getting likes only and put it in the comments also how was the session how much you understood and what are your queries okay i want to know all about it and share to many many students because they are searching the mock test solutions so here i have solved everything for you subscribe the channel for more videos like this okay taking off from you again i'll meet you in the next video till then take care bye bye all the best study well bye